the Boston Celtics just went into Madison Square Garden and pretty much stole a win on the road. Um, it looked like we were going to win, and then it looked like we were going to lose, and then we fought back, which is something I haven't seen from our team in a while. But the major bright spot, Kristaps Porzingis. He's one of 31 men in NBA history to post 30 points, 4 blocks, 5 threes, and it's the third time he's done it. And man, what a start for Chris Porzingis. His, his debut was eye-opening. He had 30 points, 8 of 15 from the field, 5 of 9 from 3, 9 of 10 from the free throw line, 8 rebounds, 4 blocks, and it was absolutely game-changing in this game. I mean, I feel like Chris Porzingis is one of the only reasons we won. I feel like our last year's team wouldn't have been able to win this game. Now, I do want to give credit to Jason Tatum as well. 34 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. He had two steals and shot 59% from the field as well. I thought he played an amazing game. But overall, I want to, you know, kind of lock in on Chris Stas Porzingis. So watch this play here. Sets a screen, and then he's going to set another screen. But watch as him, he fakes in like he's going to roll to the basket, but then stops, drops back. And Drew Holiday knew exactly what he was doing for a wide open three to start this game. And this was amazing. We're going to see a ton of pick and roll, pick and pop between Porzingis and Tatum and Drew and Jalen and all these guys can, you know, be vital with Porzingis on the two-man game. And here you see him block a shot and get the rebound. And here you go. They double Jalen Brown for screen. Porzingis comes wide open and hits a three. You cannot double the ball handler if you're the opposing team of the Celtics because they will beat you. And if you don't, if you have someone help from the corner, they're going to have Derek White. They're going to have Jason Tatum. They're going to have Al Horford and, and Drew Holiday and Jalen Brown to be in the corner to shoot three balls. Now, you see here, he gets an offensive rebound, spins, puts it up, gets it to go. Guys, if you want more Celtics coverage all year long, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, check out Underdog Fantasy, the match your first deposit up to $100 if you use my code MATTYDUBS. But like I said, I'm going to be covering the Celtics all year long. I'm going to be posting videos almost every single day. If you guys want any of that, make sure you guys hit the like button. And also comment down below, what would you give the Celtics uh, in terms of a letter grade for this opening game? I know it wasn't pretty. It definitely didn't go the way I wanted it to go. We, we It looked good for the most part. And then it turned turned uh, very bad at the end, but we still got a W, and in my books, a win is a win, and you know, what Porzingis did today showed me so much, step back three from basically the logo, I mean, who can do that, do you see how tall he is out there, do you see how versatile he sets a screen, and people don't know what to do, teams are already struggling trying to guard him, I mean, I just don't know how teams will be able to defend this team, and you know, if I'm being honest, the one thing I was concerned about coming into the season was not having that shot blocker like Rob Williams. But listen, I just got proven wrong because this man Porzingis came out here and dominated on, uh, with blocks. He was blocking shots left and right. Uh, he was a major impact, not only offensively, but defensively as well. The man made a difference. And look at this, another step back three. I mean, that shot right there is beautiful. If we can find a sense of consistency with this team, I, I just, I simply don't know how um, teams are going to even schematically try to stop us, man. But overall, I want us to be better. I think the fourth quarter blow, uh, you know, blow up was was bad. I don't want to see that anymore. It was, it happened all last year. But the one thing I'm really proud about is us being be, being able to come back down by six, three minutes left to go, fighting back for that win. I, that is very important. That makes me very happy because there was a moment where I was like, listen, I know my Celtics, we won't be able to come back and win this game. It was so gut-wrenching to go down by six, but we did it. We came back, and thanks to Chris Porzingis, hit a couple of clutch free throws, hit a big three. Uh, Porzingis was the X Factor. I think he'll be the X Factor for the entire of the season. Shout out to Porzingis. Shout out to the Celtics. We need to be better, but I'll take that for, the, for game one. A win is a win. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button. Subscribe.